Tiny Games here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks, Mirabelle. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just got interrupted a little bit by Mirabelle. I don't know if it was picked up then. Uh, but basically, we're back with another Discord Dream Snaps review video for the Savannah Style Dream Snap Challenge. Um, there's already been a part one posted, hopefully. <laughs> So go check that out if you haven't done so. Um, but I'm very excited to show off the submissions that you guys have all posted in Discord. There's a lot of fabulous submissions, so I'm very excited to show them off. So why don't we jump over to Discord and have a look and see what you guys have created. Okay, so here we are and we're going to start off with Princess Star Butterfly, who's put it's a big eat big world out there and all I'm trying to do is feed the lions some grub so let's have a look at this this is a wonderful submission I love how you hid the robot in the flowers I think that's fantastic I love how scars laying down here you've got Simba and Nala you've got all these grubs lying around I think that's great and what I love and think is super unique is that you've used the cave of wonders um I would never think to put that in my photo because obviously it's not a Lion King item, but it's a lion. <laughs> Wait, is it a tiger? Is it, it might be a tiger and not a lion. I don't, either way, it's a big cat animal. <laughs> so I think it works in nicely. I just suddenly had a thought. I was like, what if it's not a lion and it's a tiger? <laughs> someone correct me on my disney knowledge is it a tiger is it a lion i don't know but this is wonderful and i love how this is decorated so great job next up we have melly b with this submission and i love how you captioned it ready to pounce and here we have nala in the background literally ready to pounce i think that's fabulous and such a kind of like throwback to uh the film which i love i love how you've set up this kind of like camping site with all these tents i think it works really really well these trees look really good and i love the lighting here how you've lined it with all these like simple dining lamps or whatever they're called I love that. I think this looks great as a submission. Your character looks cool. And yeah, I think this is going to do very well. Next up, we have M Bunny, who's put lazy submission incoming. And I love this. I think this is fantastic. This is great. <laughs> like, I think this is a wonderful submission. I love how you've got the birds flying here. I love how you've got the oasis thing in the background. This looks like Pride Rock here and you've got all the water and everything like that like this is a wonderful submission you say it may be simple but i think it's really great i love how open it is there's a lot of focus on you and your character and there's a lot of depth to the photo so i think actually this is going to do very very well i love this submission and i think you've done a fantastic job with it Next up, we have Echo Star with their submission. And I love this. I think this is super cute. I love how you've got Simba here. You've got the birds flying. The mushroom house looks so good in the background, actually. I think that looks incredible. You've got the um, camping like tents here, which I think looks fantastic. This is a wonderful submission. It's so eye-catching but so so pretty and I love this I think this is fantastic next up we have Cole with their submission and I love this the there's obviously a lot of focus on uh Simba Nala and Scar here I love that Scar's kind of in the background <laughs> and I love how your character looks it's super fun it's just a fun submission overall I love how the waterfalls line the background here and then you've used all these lily pads like that's just so so pretty and yeah i think this is a very fun submission it's very simple but still very very eye-catching so fantastic job next up we have cosmic artemis with their submission and i love how they've managed to get the kind of sun rays again with that uh orb light i love how you've got simba scar and nala here nala obviously looks very expressive the use of the monkey companions as well dotted around this feels like a very kind of wildlife animal kind of focused submission which i love and yeah i think overall this is just very very cute so fantastic job with this 
Next up, we have the Decorista with their submission. And this is beautiful. There's so much depth in this photo. Like, look, that's that's Pride Rock there in the background. But it just looks so far away, and I love that. It feels like such a big world, a big landscape kind of thing, if that makes sense. And I love how this is decorated. I love the use of Nala here. All the flowers look absolutely stunning. The bird here at the front. It's just a very um, sort of eye-catching image, which I love. And I think this is wonderful. So great job on this submission. Next up, we have Rouge Majesty with their submission. And this is cute. I love this. Again, those waterfalls kind of lying in the background, which I think is adorable. The bird flying there. All the foliage and greenery. Um, I think this is a wonderful submission. I love how this is decorated. I love how there's a clear focus towards your character. And yeah, overall, I think this is a wonderful submission. Next up, we have Jolly. And I'm assuming this is the main submission here. And this is wonderful. Look at these pops of yellow and gold. I think that's just absolutely fabulous. Uh, you've got Pride Rock in the background. All these flowers here towards the front. The um, bugs on the log as well. This boat in the water here is such a good detail and touch. All these vine walls just kind of make it feel like there's so much... Uh, greenery and foliage and then you've got Simba in the background as well this is an absolutely wonderful submission I think you've done fantastic here next up we have Nan Logan with their submission um so they've kind of changed it from their first submission uh, got a different location made it a bit brighter they've put just a glimpse of a mickey <laughs> a mickey cloud uh may try one more time with a few flowers or sparkles in the front couldn't figure out where to stand and i love this and yes there is that little glimpse of the mickey cloud which i adore look at these floating candles in the background oh are they part of the house they are they're part of the thingy house oh that's so good i love that this is such a minor detail in the background but it looks so magical i love how you've got simba here you've got scar here the bugs on the log it's such a good item to use the way the sun peeks through in the background there i think this is a wonderful submission i think you've done fantastic here i love this so vibrant so colorful and yeah great job Next up, we have Say Hi Joel with their Savannah style submission. And this is lovely. I love how this looks with like the clay pots there. The way you've used this, I think it's like a, a bench thing that technically you can see. It's the fallen log thing. I think you can sit on it, but I love that, how it kind of creates this look of flowers at the front, all the waterfalls. You've got Simba here. This is a wonderful submission. I think you've done fantastic with this. Next up, we have High Five to the Face, who's put after a little trial and error. This is the one I've settled on. Tags are 12 out of 3 playful and 14 out of 3 strong. So there's some pretty high tags. And I believe I got 11 for Bold and 5 for Lion King, which is really, really impressive. Because I know those tags are pretty hard to get. Um, so yeah, this is wonderful. Scar looks fantastic. <laughs> uh he does kind of he's eyeing up these birds here you can tell he's spotted his lunch the pose in here with the snake i love how you've gone for kind of like the elephant graveyard look again this might stand out against some of the typical um pride rock submissions just because it's different but i do love this i think it's a wonderful submission i love the cooking uh volcanic stove item here and you've got like the little lion cub trapped in the background this is like simba here trapped uh, when he was a baby um i say a baby he was a young cub he wasn't like a baby baby but you guys know what i mean either way this is fabulous Next up, we have Rogue Hey There Sugar. But this isn't actually my dream snap. I just made it for myself after getting robbed on Wednesday. I was feeling angry so sad. So I remade one of my fave submissions, second pick. And I have to admit, it was decent therapy. I'm still struggling with my actual dream snap. But I thought this might inspire you all. So I think this is still wonderful to see. As, as you said, you know, great for inspiration and things like that. I love this with Pride Rock in the background, the Elephant Graveyard, all the colours 
like the use of the volcanic stove to create this kind of green look the green look from the lights in the background with the um, waterfalls is so great and how it looks like Scar's trapped the lion cubs and is boiling this one up this is fabulous I think it's a fantastic idea same with this one <laughs> again boiling up those little lion cubs <laughs> This is one of those things that you don't know how well it's going to be received because it's a fantastic idea and submission. I love it. But you never know if people are going to be upset by it and like, oh my God, those poor lions. I can't vote for that. <laughs> but yeah, I love this. The way the sun looks in the background and the lights and everything. Fantastic. Even if these aren't your actual submissions, these are fantastic for like inspiration and ideas and it's lovely to see. Next up we have Echo with this submission and I love this, it's so wonderful. The way the bird looks here at the front, I think I likened it to Zazu, um, which I think is fantastic, the way the sun peaks up in the background. You've got Nala, Simbra and Scar here, like this is fabulous and this is like a savannah done really really well because it's more of that sort of drier landscape rather than something that's really lush and tropical if that makes sense so I think this is an absolutely wonderful submission and I think you've done fantastically with this honestly it's so good this is wonderful next up we have Henry with their submission and I love this this is beautiful the colors the vibrancy all the flowers the outfits so bright and bold which I love again using the blue raven like I wish I'd thought of this because it's such a good idea um again for kind of like looking like Zazu so I think that's so clever uh, you've got the other bird here in the background all the characters and pride rock and the waterfalls this is just wonderful I love this this is so good Okay, so next up we have my submission. So this is my submission for you all to see. Um, so I framed the photo with these orange flowers. I just think they were very striking and very pretty. So I wanted to include them. We have the waterfall in the background. And I did go for kind of like more of a sunset to nighttime vibe. Because I felt like by wearing the jacket and the scarf. That actually my character would be in a cooler setting so I didn't want it to be the height of day which is why I've chosen the time of day that I've gone for um I wanted to include Safari Donald because I wanted it to look like that Donald was taking us on this tour of the valley I thought that would be a really fun idea and uh I've used Scar as well um I just thought he matched with the outfit because the outfit's a bit more darker so I wanted to go for Scar over using someone like Simbra Nala and because of the time of day of when I created this submission unfortunately I wouldn't have got all three in the shot Simbra Nala and Scar because it was a time of day when they were all kind of like in houses or in restaurants and stuff like that so I did have to kind of make a decision as to what I was going to do so this is the route that I went down and then I decorated it with the waterfalls in the background just because I think they look super pretty so I'm hoping this has turned out well I hope this gets me a good result and uh, I guess we'll find out on Wednesday next up we have brick boss now i don't know if this is brick boss's final submission because we did give a little bit of feedback that or at least i mentioned it on stream i don't know if brick boss heard it because we did go over these on my stream um but yeah like obviously with it being an outfit challenge you do run the risk when your character's hidden away that people aren't going to vote for it but overall as a concept i do kind of love it that you know you've got this focus on Simba and stuff like that and the wildlife and everything which I love so I think it was definitely on the right track I'm very intrigued to see if you updated your submission or anything like that but um great job next up we have curls fantasy who's put i decided to reuse my something wicked submission since it was heavily robbed i'm hoping that i'll be able to redeem it with this challenge my something wicked submission will be in the comments for comparison so this is a something wicked submission and this is why in part you know when i did my video about like what could be the real secret to dream snaps and i wondered if it had to do with certain items having rarity factors 
this photo at the bottom here is fantastic. This is a great submission and it deserves to do well. So I definitely wonder if because you went for a more scar theme over Ursula and there wasn't all the Ursula items in the background if that went against you. I don't know. We I guess we'll never know. Um, but here's hoping your newest submission doesn't get robbed, which is this one, which I love. Again, I love how you've kind of done the same setting. You've got Simba here, you've got Scar in the background. The little lion cubs as well, which is a lovely little touch. I think this is wonderful and I really, really hope you don't get robbed this time because this is a great submission and I think you've done fantastically here. So I'll be keeping my fingers crossed that you get the win that you deserve. Next up we have Fora Fora who's put first time doing dream snaps with a steam deck and this is the best I can do. I'm just happy that I can play and even make some kind of photo. So Fora Fora's co um, computer went kaput. <laughs> it was broken. <laughs> So, um, but this is wonderful and especially like to do this on a Steam Deck, which I imagine is kind of hard to do control wise. I think this is absolutely wonderful. The sparkle here, like I love this, like this is kind of giving second star on the right vibes. Like I don't know why, but that's just what it makes me think of. I love the outfit, it's so cute how you're dressed here and sort of posing with Simba and all the foliage. I think this is wonderful, so great job on this. Next up, we have Jackie with their submission. And this is so cute, I love this. You've got Simba, you've got Nala, you've got the little night cut, um, nightlight, the cub nightlight. <laughs> Oh, I can't get my words out. I love how you've included this, like it's little baby Kiara and the lighting, the sky, pride rock in the background. This is so wonderful. I love this submission. I think it's so eye-catching and I'm really excited to see what your results are. Next up, we have Lydia with their submission and this is so pretty. I love this, I, way that, I love the way the light and the like reflections from this light cast on the floor. I think that's absolutely fabulous. I love how you've decorated here. This is a wonderful room and yeah, I think this is wonderful, great job and I hope this does well. Next up we have Alley Cat's submission and wow. This blew me away, honestly, this is, this is magnificent. The way the rays come in from that orb light, the sparkle, the golden flowers, the way it matches in with the dress, the outfit, the colours, the vibrancy. Oh, chef's kiss. This is, this is spectacular. 100%. I absolutely adore this. I am... This needs to be a winning submission. This needs to be like rank one. No offense to everyone else that has posted. I love all your submissions and everything like that. But this is, this is wonderful. I love this. This is my favorite submission. And honestly, oh yeah, fabulous. Fabulous. I love this. I, I, I could go on for hours about how much I love this photo. I think it's just so wonderful. So perfectly composed, so well lit and yeah it's just wonderful it's just wonderful and it just makes me smile so fantastic job on this submission next up we have the rebel 84 mic and we have this wonderful submission so full of color so full of depth look at nala getting ready to pounce here in the foreground then you got simba here it further in the background the birds like this is so fun and playful. I love it. I think it's so good. The way you've used the little hyena backpack is kind of cute as well. I love all the flowers here at the front, which I'm assuming is part of the Oasis item. Like, this is fabulous. And I love how you've decorated, like, I'm, I don't, I couldn't even tell you where this is. Like, I'm assuming, obviously, it's Sunlit Plateau, but like, I couldn't tell you what direction. I'm sure it's Sunlit Plateau. See, even I'm doubting myself. This just looks wonderful. And I do see Pumba here in the background as well, which I think is a nice little touch. So this is a wonderful submission. Fantastic job here. And I think this is going to do very, very well. 
Next up, we have Angel of Thursday, who's put having my back to the camera is risky, but we'll see if it pays off. But I love this. Again, it just tells a story, which I love. You're here set up with your campsite, the camera, all the books and the photography stuff, like such cute touch. And then you've got Simba here in the background and it's like you're filming and observing. And I think that's just wonderful. I think it's so creative and so unique. And I think it's going to draw a lot of voters in because it is just so, so unique and such a wonderful submission. I love this. I think you've done fantastically here. Next up, we have Nia. <laughs> He's put, yes, I submitted a selfie for an outfit challenge because no one can stop me. And I was wearing the ice and socks because I needed extra playful tags and can't be left. <laughs> tag shuffling i'm just feeling lazy not gonna lie i'll put more effort into the next theme i vibe with and yeah this is <laughs> it's hard to say because obviously i i do agree selfie challenges selfie photos are a massive risk um i love how simba looks so simba looks so cute here the background's very very cute which i love but i do agree this is very, very risky. But I'm intrigued to see how your results are, so you'll have to let us know. Next up, we have Rora, who's put Elephant Graveyard Time. And wonderful. I love this. I think this is great. Um, I think this is a wonderful submission. Again, kind of more towards the Savannah look. But I love that it doesn't kind of look empty. Like, it still feels very full, which I think using this um pillar orb thing was a great little touch i love all the like sunlit plateau grass that you've used i think that works really well for decorating and yeah just overall this is a very wonderful submission so fantastic job with this your character looks so so cool i love this and you've kind of gone down the more evil vibes route with scar which i love so yeah fantastic job on this Next up, we have Wild Fae with their submissions, uh, their submission, and they've got pretty good tags, 12 and 14, and I love this, I love the colours of this submission and everything, like, it's just really cool, you've got Pride Rock and the Oasis here in the background, again, a photo with a lot of depth, you've got Simba here, which is really cute, I love how you've posed with the snake, the bird here, the the way this like filter has these colours as well, I just think really adds to it. So I think this is an absolutely wonderful submission. I do love this. I think this is really great. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what your results are. Next up, we have Baby Ghoul with their submission. And I love this. This is so good. Are you kidding me? This is so good. Okay, so I do feel like... This works really well. This is a good savannah. It's a lot more drier, a lot more open, which I think is fantastic. I love how you've used the little bones as well as the um, wildebeest remains. I think that works really well. You've got the bugs here as well, which is great. Nala looks amazing. Simba looks cute. Pride Rock. Like, all of this just looks fabulous. It's so well lit. And I think this is an absolutely wonderful submission. So I think this is going to score incredibly well. Next up, we have Wolfie here with their submission. And this is so cute. This is fun. I love this. I love the little um, cooking stove here at the front. I love all the foliage in the background. I think that's so fun and so cute. I love this. It feels very lush and so full of life. And I think this is a wonderful submission. Your character looks super cute. So, yeah, I think this is going to do very, very well. Next up, we have Laura with their submission. And I love this. This is cute. Honestly, I think it's a great idea to take the photo in Simba and Nala's house. I think, you know, when you can use things like villager homes or realms and stuff, especially in things like the... um. Uh, outfit challenges i think why not i think this is a lovely unique viewpoint i think this looks great your character looks super cute and obviously i love how it's like you and simba are both roaring together like that's really really cute so well done on this one
And last, but certainly not least, we have Roll Marianne with their submission, who's put, I didn't want to take uh, much time for this still. I think it's cute. And I think it's cute too. I think it's cute. I think that's a great way of describing it. It's cute. Your character looks cute. I love how Nala's kind of like peeking round behind the tree, which I love. I think that's super cute. I love how Pride Rock looks in the background. Again, it feels kind of very open, which I like. I think it works really well. Um, so yeah, I think this is a wonderful submission. I think this is great and such a lovely one for us to end on. So there we have it. That's the Discord Dream Snap sub uh, submissions for the Savannah Style Challenge. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing all these creative submissions and thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you could, if you've got to the end, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I would appreciate it very, very much, Lee. But thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.